Oh, and holster. Holster the second time? Yeah, when, when after Ren had cleared this with his mirror, you were covering this area right here, right? Yes, sir. Holland? Yes, sir. Were you covering this edge of this countertop right yes, here? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you know he was covering that? Yes, sir, I did. I was actually waiting for the subject to come up. I wasn't sure where, what side they were going to arise. Once Not us before we found the suspect. Before? When Ren started to mirror that corner, you went from here to there. Yes, sir. Holland's already covering that. Yes, sir. Who's covering this? Who's covering the stairs? It should be me, sir. Yeah, you got to stay on that thread, okay? Yes, sir. Because this, I could be searching here, find a suspect. It could be a second suspect on that stairway. Yes, sir. And here I'm at a disadvantage. They can pop up right away. Go ahead. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, good. In the city of Los Angeles, when duty calls, the LAPD responds. Hey, John, lower the gun, buddy. John, leave the gun. Working as a team. Go ahead and put the gun down. John, nobody's going to come at you, all right? But I'd feel a whole lot better if you were to lower that gun. To protect and to serve. Why don't you come back here to me, all right? All right, that's good. Walk toward me with your hands up, John. Put you in handcuffs. All units code 4 to 6. Thanks for working with me. K9 turn, show me code 6 on the article search for the Amber Alert. To fight crime and to keep our streets safe. Another positive hit on this bag. We believe at this time that the vehicle is in our custody. Any available unit to respond to the northeast corner, 7th and north toward the Amber Alert. 6K, 253, ride right. on the code 3. Fourteen X eleven, show us responding. Cycle two, we're around. This is it. Go. For the officers of the LAPD, it's all in a day's work. Protecting our families. Look, look at your daddy. They take pride in what they do. Call from the Amber Alert. Missing child found and returned to parent. Suspect in custody. LAPD is hiring. Become a part of the team. Visit us at joinlapd.com. Captain's out. Let's go. All right, you guys are the visitors. That was that plane right in. It took you a long time to get here. Didn't it? That's tails. That's heads. Okay, you're going to call one or the other before I flip it. If I drop it, we'll do it again. Say it loud enough so he can hear you. Tails. Tails. You call tails. You call tails. It's tails. You won. You want to receive. Okay, so we got white winning the coin toss. They'll receive, and you want to defend that goal. Okay, back here, white over there. Nice. Blue over here, no kick. Defend this goal. Shake hands one more time. Good luck today, fellas. I joined the academy when I was 41 years old. I did uh, 23 years in the United States Marine Corps. I retired as a battalion sergeant major. Did my last tour in Iraq. I have three uh, teenage sons. Uh, two that will go to the school. One that's in college right now. It was just time to get out and. Uh, I have I have degrees, and I was originally going to co uh, teach high school and coach football. And I had a friend talk me into the academy, and I said I'd try it, so I did. And? Uh, the academy, was, <laughs> it was easy. I'm sorry. I got to say, it was a cakewalk. The academy was fun. It was, it, was, it was okay. So how do you like being an LAPD officer? I do. I like it. I like what, I like what the police represent. Uh, no different from Marines. You're out there trying to do good things. You know, and you always have people that are going to scrutinize what you do, but somebody has to do that job. So I like it in that aspect. I mean, I, I like that we're, you know, at the end of the day, you're still trying to do the right thing. So. What about here? How does what you do at LAPD apply what you're doing here? Well, I think the leadership comes here. I mean, you know, you learn leadership in the military, and of course they got it in the LAPD. And uh, right here, as especially as a peace officer, you get to come here and mold teenage young men. What's the toy then, Eric? And 
Hopefully I keep them on this side of the football field in, in between the lines so they don't get out, outside the lines. Hey, listen up real quick. Good first half, but on that one squib kick where it bounced off them, I don't want to hear no laughing. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right, it was this time a week ago. It wasn't funny a week ago, was it? Yes, sir. All right. That, that's the biggest thing here. You have a big influence. They know I'm a, they know I'm a cop. They know my, my coaches are policemen, and so it works out pretty good. Yeah. And uh, any jokes about uh, if they don't perform well, you'll arrest them? <laughs> you know what? I, after practice every day, and they'll tell you this, I don't talk about football. I talk about life and the decisions they make and how important high school is. And uh, the three things I tell my son are the, if you ask any of my sons, and the coaches have. I go ask my sons what they have to be when they grow up. My sons, all three of them say the same thing. So my dad says, all I got to do is uh, be respectful and obey the laws of this country. Now, I want to be doctors and lawyers like everybody else, but those are two things they got to do, and I'm fine with that. How many of these young men do you think may end up becoming police officers just because of the fact that they've been exposed to coaches who are police officers? Well, I, I mean, I, I became a Marine because I was exposed to a... Uh, uh, Marine recruiter walking on the campus one day, you know, liked the uniform. He, I, I thought he looked like he had his act together. So you're very influenced. You're, you're very, it's easy, you're easily influenced when you're a teenager. Um, so I think a lot of them will take that path. I mean, um, you, know, you probably get uh, five or ten of them. They'll probably come police officers or firemen. You know, and we got a couple of the kids on the team whose fathers are policemen and sheriffs and firemen and stuff like that. So yeah, there'll be a few. You like what you do, don't you? I love what I do. I love being out on this football field, too. I, I mean, I really like being out here. Big Z reverse screen. Tell Bird Talk to come out. All right, this is what we'll do. In the second half, I'm still going to keep the first string defense in there with the coaches rotating people in, but the reserve offense is going to start for us. All right, and they'll stay in. As long as the other team don't score, it's your game, reserve offense. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right, run your plays. Remember where you guys came from? All right, last week wasn't fun, right? All right, remember that. Hey, first up. John, good job! In the city of Los Angeles, there is an Amber Alert. When duty calls, the LAPD responds. We have a positive on the Amber Alert vehicle. <laughs> To protect and to serve. Okay, tell me what happened. stay there. Do you want to make a report? Your brother-in-law doesn't want you stand there anymore. You all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Standing with our community. When we first got there, I didn't know what the heck we had. 1653, unknown trouble. Male and female arguing inside of a green vehicle. Stop on the 6th Street Bridge. Respond, code 3. 